Hello beautiful people, how is it going? How are you all doing? Hopefully you guys are in good health and all doing okay. Uh, after one week, uh, after a long break sort of, I never actually took one week off from my channel. Uh, I've been uh, kind of like not well uh, with mild COVID uh, symptoms and everything. So I'm under home quarantine. Thankfully, I'm still okay. Still have my sense of smell and all that. So thanks for all your prayers and uh, all your messages checking on me. Uh, just that, you know, I have not had that energy, you know, to get up and uh, talk, you know, <laughs> sounds stupid, but yeah, talking and uploading takes energy too. So hopefully you guys in good health and uh, be careful that uh, COVID situation is getting worse, especially in Bangladesh and other parts of the world. So I'm sorry if you can't hear me properly, but use headphones. So today I'm going to be doing just casual list. I don't want to do a full on serious review. Uh, perhaps tomorrow if I feel better but uh, here are some 15 fragrances that I think are being forgotten they're really good fragrances once hyped in the community and uh, there are a lot of new fragrances that are out uh, or flankers you know then people forget the good old ones all right so these are some of the reminders maybe you can check them out maybe before they're gone and stuff like that there are many other forgotten gems but these are the ones I'm showing you today so I'm going to start with first one is uh, Mont Blanc legend okay this is a legendary perfume I have had a 100 ml and I've gone for 200 ml. <clears throat> Special thing about this perfume, it's so easy to use. It's a very common uh, DNA. It smells like Fierce by uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. And then there's similar fragrance would be Platinum Ego is by Chanel. But this one is very affordable still. And the fragrance lasts decent time. It's kind of like a casual, uh, all year, all purpose, sort of like a versatile perfume. You can pull it off easily. Anybody can pull it up easily and then if you just talk about budget, it's one of the best budget perfumes out there. Okay, so Mont Blanc Legend, number one. Number two is this one, Lalique's Ancre Noir. I have had all of them before. This is my new bottle. Uh, they have three in the line, Ancre Noir, Ancre Noir a la Extreme, and then the Sport. Then they have Ombre Noir, I think. Lalique, oh yeah, Ombre Noir. This is not part of this line, but similar bottle with a round cap. All of them are fantastic, but this great perfume once was very hyped in community some six, seven years back. It has a cypress, inky note, vetiver, very dark and kind of like a mysterious perfume. One of the best per, uh, fragrance, the attribute is this is very affordable still. So this one is definitely highly recommended by me. Very unique perfume. If you want to try something unique, try Ancre Noir. I'll write down the names, okay, for you guys, okay? All right, number three is this fragrance. Hugo Boss bottled night okay got this blue underneath doesn't say night anywhere I guess yeah uh, this one I recently got for a reason okay this fragrance uh, back in the days it's it was a big hit you know before the fragrance game started and people got to know about fragrances or you know the whole community or fragcom thing happened this was one of the top sellers from Hugo Boss line this was very very highly hyped and people love this perfume for daytime nighttime it's an excellent performance. Some people say it doesn't last. Trust me, it does last. There's a nice violet leaves note. Got this kind of like a fresh at the same time dark vibe. It's a semi-dark, semi-fresh, but very, very long lasting. This perfume I highly recommend. If you never tried it, Hugo Boss bottle. That is the night. Okay, that's number three. Number four, CK All for men or women both. Uh, this is a unisex offering from Calvin Klein House. Uh, I finished my 200 ml, then I opted for another 200 ml. This fragrance is one of the best CK ever produced, okay? Uh, you'll see me buying a lot of 200 ml bottles. Uh, the reason being, uh, some of the fragrances you just don't want to run out of juice, you know, like, uh, and then sometimes you need a little bit extra sprays. CK All has much better performance than CK One and many other summer offerings, but trust me, this smells so divine got this nice rhubarb or something i forgot exact notes but very beautiful fruity uh, citrusy if you like john roberto's artisan uh, pure definitely try ck all one of my all-time favorites from this house okay number five busheran jaipur om i'm showing the edt today i also have the edp this fragrance many people do not know like uh, they'll be like this looks very old and dated and at least the new members will say this looks very much like my father, something my father would wear or my uncle would wear or my grandpa would wear. Yes, very sophisticated, guys. I mean, this fragrance has class. If you talk about niche, forget about the company's price tag. This smells expensive. This smells spicy. It smells like uh, it's, it's definitely like a little bit mature crowd would wear. Spicy, masculine, got this kind of vanilla property. Also has something... Uh, uh, like 
I don't know, like sophisticated upper class vibe about it. So if you never tried it, try it. It's still affordable. One of the hidden gems and uh, I would say not being talked about that much in community, which is why I included it. Boshiron Jaipur, Om. So you have 10 left. Uh, let's go. Next one is a popular fragrance, but it kind of lost its uh, mentions in the community. I think this is a purely winter perfume. That's why perhaps, but uh, this is a gem. I think this is discontinued. I could be wrong, but if you never tried it, collect a bottle and keep it with you. It's a great fragrance. This is Thierry Mugler's Pure Tonka. One of the underrated gems because if you look for performer, not every single Mugler performs. This one is Beast Mode On. If you like Fave Delicious or a Pure Tonka, uh, I mean, sorry, not Pure Tonka. I mean, like Tonka based perfume. This is one of the best spicy Tonka based fragrances in my collection. Definitely. Uh, mention worthy and uh, do not let it be forgotten okay so theory mugle pure tonka next one very popular one i keep mentioning this dolce and gabbana the one edt this is the good times of fragrance community this is when the fragrance community was very popular happening uh after that they released the edp version a lot of uh, flankers but i never really fell out of love with this perfume still gets me great performance in summertime got this ginger grapefruit uh, the fruit cocktail, fruit punch, Havana cigar sort of feel. Amazing tobacco, but so sexy. This one still like rocks my world. This one is getting a little bit forgotten nowadays, but I feel this should be in your collection. If you ask me, most of these perfumes you should definitely try. Some of them will be collection worthy for sure. Okay. Dolce & Gabbana, the one, EDT. Next one. This is not going to surprise many, but this is Lamal. I'm showing you the Christmas edition. Uh, you can see still see the abs down there same thing they just put like a nice sort of a <clears throat> sweater or something like that cardigan on top of it so not much different than the original lamal but lamal is legendary fragrance and now nowadays nobody wears it people wear lamal le parfum or ultra male or some of the summer flankers but uh, lamal still has its place in my humble opinion beautiful mint up top and then the lavender uh, Tonka and then vanilla combo. I think this still has this sort of modern barbershop feel, very playboy kind of feel, but at the same time, very beautiful fragrance. People can recognize this DNA instantly. Okay, so Lamal still is a great fragrance. I would not say it's not worth it anymore. Performance, obviously, not like the Beast Mode before, but great fragrance. Being forgotten nowadays, sadly. Next one, another forgotten gem. Dior's Fahrenheit. I'm not going to let people forget this one because this is one of the best perfumes in my collection. Since the beginning, I raved about it. I have the whole lineup sort of uh, from Fahrenheit line. And this is Dior's uh, crown jewel. Okay. Uh, if Dior created anything like Dior Intense, this one, and they have a few other lines, you know, like uh, they are mention worthy. This is definitely one of their top sellers. I think as much as Dior Homme sell, sold, uh, Fahrenheit sold as much. It Even if you Release this today. Oh my God, the violet leaves, you know, the petroleum, gasoline, the florals. Even if you release this today, it would be a big hit, okay? Kind of being forgotten nowadays. Fahrenheit by Dior. Next, got a lot of hype when it came out. People were like, wow, this fragrance is a gem. People were like buying it left and right. And they were saying this is better than the original. But suddenly it lost its mention, you know, and I think it's still pretty good. You should definitely try it because it's not been reformulated, but amazing fragrance. Versace Eros Flame, the whole red and or the red or flame sort of rouge, the theme that started, this is part of that. Eros Flame, it's a little bit different in the opening. It has this mate note or something like a nice exotic note up top, which is different than original Eros. Eros is nice, got this apple tonka. This one has sort of like this boozy, uh, sweet, modern. In the opening wise, this is much nicer than Eros. In my humble opinion, more modern. And performance wise, uh, very good performer. Check out Eros Flame, still mention worthy. So you have five left, okay? So the five fragrances. Uh, first one I'm gonna start with Prada Loam. I have a backup bottle. This one, one, this one runs out. I will open that one. Prada Loam. Uh, nowadays, it's hard to believe people say, no, this is still popular. I don't see it being mentioned. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, this fragrance is losing a little bit uh, mention, like let's say three years back, people would post this every day. I wore Prada Lom in the morning, I wore Prada Lom in the evening, I wore Prada Lom the next day, I went to wear this during my work and wedding. This was a staple. Uh, nowadays, a lot of uh, similar perfumes, but uh, Prada Lom doesn't get the mention. Still a pretty good perfume, you know what I'm telling you? This one's losing the name, I mean the mention, but you should keep a bottle if you like fresh, clean, soapy, uh, 
inoffensive, easy to wear summer perfume. Prada Lom is definitely 10 out of 10 fragrance. Next one, Narciso Rodriguez for him, EDT. Uh, this is the EDT version. I also have the EDP. I never tried the mask version. The EDT, it's a bit tough to understand and pull, you know. It's similar to Fahrenheit in many ways. Fahrenheit has this uh, petroleum note. This one has the violet leaves, but it has a wet cement feel when it rains, okay, like wet pavement. Very dark, very gothic, and very artistic kind of fragrance. This is not for everybody. Very small, but if you're looking for something like, if let's say this is discontinued or gone, people would search for this, you know, like if, if for sure it will come back somewhere in mention and people look for to paying like $150, $200 for this, that quality. So Narcissus Rodriguez for him, great mask, darkness, a little bit animalic and unique, okay? This definitely is not mentioned anywhere anymore, but I feel this one should get love. Next one. This is one of my most favorite fragrances any any day, you know, 212 VIP Men by Carolina Herrera. Uh, what's great about this fragrance is uh, this fragrance is easy to wear. It's a clubbing fragrance. I used to got I used to get comparison to 1 million by Paco Rabanne, but this has that passion fruit, got this uh, kind of like a vodka, kind of like a boozy vibe, and it's very uplifting, fresh, you know, very fresh, and it does get compliments a lot. So this fragrance nowadays, people don't talk about it anymore. Uh, you should definitely try it out if you see it somewhere. Original 212 VIP, man, amazing fragrance. Amazing fragrance for any part of the year, okay? Anybody can wear this. Second last one, Cartier. Do you remember this perfume? Declaration d'un soir. Uh, people say Declaration d'un soir. Uh, very simplistic bottle. I think in my humble opinion, this is one of the most simplistic design. If you see it from outside, like let's say it's, it's on the counter like this, okay? It's there. And uh, <laughs> you walk past it so easily, you'll be like, oh, that's a plain bottle, nothing. Yeah. It doesn't look interesting like these other bottles. Like, imagine Euro catches your eye. This one doesn't catch your eye. This is one of the most beloved fragrances of mine. Do you know why? I tried Lanuit de Lome, this one, and Loam one day, and I bought this one over the other two. The opening of this, if you talk about niche quality, it's a fragrance. If it was up to me, I would sell it for $1,000. Okay, it's a rose based perfume, got the sandalwood, got this pink pepper and stuff. But uh, such a gorgeous, there's nothing like Declaration Dun Soir. I can tell you, it's better than Amouage uh, Lyric Man. Is it Lyric Man? I forgot the red one, rose based one. This is way better. Great performer, try it out. Okay, Cartier Declaration Dun Soir is being discontinued now, but still can be had. It's a 10 out of 10 fragrance. Last but not least, here comes the most shocking fragrance entry today. Um, I'm sorry, I'm losing a little bit voice and a little bit neck pain. Uh, so I'm going to finish it quickly. But this is going to shock you. You say, seriously, this one? I see it everywhere. No, you don't see it anywhere anymore. Because it has so many uh, inspired versions nowadays. People are wearing YSL, YDP. Even people forgot about Blood Chanel. But this one, Dior Sauvage. I recently got a 200ml again. The reason being, I missed it, you know. No matter how many blue fragrances you go through, this is your staple. This is a must-have. If you're a collector, <laughs> trust me, you can get bored of it. You can get tired of wearing this. But uh, somehow, it's being forgotten a little bit nowadays, you know. People don't wear this anymore that much. So here are my 15 fragrances you can definitely try. And you can buy if you are willing to add. You're not going to regret it. In terms of at least quality, these are all quality perfumes, okay? So try out my individual reviews. I have reviewed them all and you can check out Fragrantica and see how good they were. And I really believe, you know, in the crowd of brand new releases, flankers, you should not forget some of the good ones. All you should have backup if you love them, okay? Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. If I get better, I'll do so many more videos for you. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.